crazy to be talking about it, but we are. We are 102 <laughs> days away from Christmas. I know. You're really going there. Hey, it's, it was written. <laughs> yeah. All right, while it may seem like a ways off, uh, those in the retail industry are bracing for it. They say right now it's a good time to start buying gifts, believe it or not. And they say be prepared to spend more this year. Fox 10's Danielle Miller joins us live to explain. All right, you know I adore you. Was this your <laughs> idea to do this? I mean, it's a little early. It is a little early and it definitely feels a little early out here when it's blazing hot in the sun and we're uh, dripping sweat out here and even thinking about Christmas. But we definitely should start thinking that's according to these retailers. We spoke with a local trucking company today and they were telling us that typically around the holiday season there are some sort of shortages, especially for those hot ticket items. But they're telling us that this year, unfortunately, you can expect to see dozens of shortages. President of the KB Advisory Group, Kristen Benz, is involved with all things retail. She says shoes, clothing, and furniture will take much longer to get to you this holiday season. Electronics also on that list. COVID, it's a labor shortage. Um, it's cost of doing business. It's consumer goods, consumer demand. It's a perfect storm of issues right now. Ben be says don't wait to buy. Unless you're actually physically going to brick and mortar retail, and that actually might be your better choice at this point. When you see it in stock on the shelf, buy it. Don't wait till the last minute. So order now for Christmas is, is the moral of the story. <laughs> President of the Arizona Trucking Association, Tony Bradley, says nationally we're down 50 to 150,000 drivers. These delays and driver shortages are a nationwide problem that's causing a trickle down effect. According to Bradley, he says currently there's 56 mega ships sitting at the ports in California. Typically, there's one or two. The ships are bigger than they were traditionally, so it takes them longer to be unloaded. Uh, two, there's not enough uh, drivers and containers to remove the, the products from those ships and get them to their destination and then back to the shipyard to unload another container. People get anxiety of trying to get those products. They're going to order more. Uh, companies are going to try and restill, refill their warehouses, which is going to put further pressure on those boats. And Bradley says a few other things leading to the driver shortages, things like burnout as well as pay. He says a lot of drivers are actually uh, staying local and delivering package locally. That's taking away from uh, the, the more uh, distinct routes, you know, to California and things like that. He said another issue that a lot of people don't consider or even think about, he says because of federal regulations, uh, truck driving and smoking legal marijuana is a no-go. So unfortunately in the states where it's legal, he says they can't hire anyone who does smoke recreational marijuana. Reporting live, Danielle Miller, Fox 10 News.